Rogers, 2019, um, First Friday, Tris Gallery. Uh, we are graced with the presence of Penny Hop. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Thank the talent. You. Thank you, Jim. Uh, I, I, I don't even know what to say. Every, everyone uh, in this show uh, is marvelous. And I've just seen some paintings walk out the door. Uh, not unaccompanied. I mean, uh, so things are hopping here at Trist. We're and, here all week. Though. Yes, see, there you go. We're here all week. Uh, and I'm very honored to be the featured artist here for this month. Uh, am I supposed to say something intelligent at some point, Chris, about particular paintings? I'll just do a quick thing. Uh, so, uh, so my dear friends Kevin and uh, Maureen and Laurie are, are blocking one of these. No, I'm just teasing. Oh, no, we're, we're all friends. It's all right. Uh, no, what I just wanted to point out uh, is that I guess it's maybe obvious that my background is in illustration as my... Um, my style is somewhat realistic most of the time. Uh, the fun thing about being trained as an illustrator is that if you don't find uh, or take the exact photo that you want, you can use your collage skills to put something together. I, I know where this pond is. Uh, it's in my sister's um, backyard. It did not have all those things going on in it at that time. And I'm sure there are lots of artists out there who can relate. You want to give the ideal and the, the perfect pond, the perfect pond with all the perfect things going on at the same time, right? But these little boogers, you can't train them, apparently. You, can I say boogers? <laughs> uh, so you can't train an egret to be there at the same time as the monarch butterfly. Three different brands, four, five, four, five, maybe five different kinds of dragonflies or damselflies. Um, probably not even all um, actually native to Virginia now that I think about it. Uh, but uh, with the wonders of um, online research, you can um, get photos of things that you like and compile them and try to make it look like it all happened at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's a complicated example of that. The tiger is a somewhat less complicated version. I did use uh, four different references for the tiger and uh, almost zero references for the background, as I think you can see. <laughs> uh, I was lucky to uh, visit Namibia, my, the place of my birth, with my husband. Uh, and there were plenty of zebra to be photographed. Uh, this guy was elusive, strangely elusive, <laughs> uh, but with a little extra paint. But they can stand still for a while. You just paint them while they're standing there. And uh, that's fine. Uh, yes, oh, so comic, comic, comic. comic. <laughs> uh, and uh, so that's really what I have to share today. Unless somebody has some questions. Have you any questions? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Well, then find me at your leisure. I'll be hanging around um, eating prosciutto. Um, thank you. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, prosciutto that way, Kevin. Thank you. Um, and thank you for your support and taking an interest. Oh, and Chris reminded me to twirl so that you can see this um, coat of many ties that I made, um, <laughs> which is super fun. Wow. Thank you all. I couldn't have asked for a, a nicer reception at Trist Gallery. Jim Sisley and Chris Loya were wonderful hosts, and I was surrounded by a, a marvelous group of people, uh, artists and friends and new friends alike, and it was a, it was a beautiful art opening. And this is where uh, the <laughs> crazy ideas uh, originate and, uh, and come to fruition, uh, case in point tortoises in teacups. So where else would you find them? Thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>